carbon's been consigned to dirt, dust, something in the air, something that is really wrong. Carbon is the element that holds hands and collaborates. It's so fascinating when you follow the life of carbon, what it does, where it goes. It will go to a party, and if it's a good party, it'll stay there. And if it's not, it'll leave and go to another party. And there it goes, into waterways, into the air, into oceans, into fish, into algae. It takes any number of forms, from diamonds to exhalation of CO2 as a gas. And so reimagining carbon to me is realizing that it's such a gift. It is such a sacred thing. Carbon dominates the science around climate change. It also dominates the discussion on fossil fuels and combustion and the atmosphere. It's not really well understood, actually. And it has been pretty much demonized as an element, which is interesting since it's all life is based on carbon <laughs> and it's hardly a demon. Usually productivity is measured in either dollars or in labor output. And that really omits or uh, excludes nature, natural capital, the sky, earth, water, creatures. It excludes just about everything else that matters besides uh, wages and profits. It's not just the element of carbon, it's actually carbon as the holder of the flow on the planet of chemistry and the atmosphere and the water and creatures and plants and soil. It opens up a possibility, it opens up ideas, it opens up innovation, it opens up ways of looking at commerce, um, which hasn't really changed the way it's looked at itself for a long time. Drawdown in the context of climate change refers to that, that first point in time when greenhouse gases peak and go down measured on a year-to-year -year basis. It's the turning point, it's the reversal. It's like we've gone far enough, let's go the other way point. I use that term because I feel if you don't name the goal, there's a fat chance you're going to attain it. You just won't reach it because you don't know where you're going. All this is about reframing, really. And it's not just about measuring and modeling, what it is about rethinking our relationship to carbon. No one's ever measured the 100 top solutions. There has been heretofore nowhere where people could go and get a scientifically peer-reviewed, you know, data on the solutions themselves. Where we can get everywhere is on what's going to happen if we don't address climate change. What I love about Drawdown is, and there's this kind of mindset that there's some technique or silver bullet or direct air capture or the that we're going to invent something. It's just completely the opposite, and that is that everything has to change, but not change because it's bad. It's just change because we can do better, and better means better on all levels, for people, for communities, for our children, for the future, for creatures, for biodiversity, uh, for human health, for security. All these things are at our fingertips. Hope is the pretty mask of fear. And what we need to be is fearless, not hopeful. And the way we should look at the science is not as a threat, as a gloom, as fear, as doom. I'm not saying the science is inaccurate in that. It is. I mean, it is. But we should look at it as a problem statement. Now, what are we going to do? Every system that ignores feedback dies. This is feedback from a system. We don't see ourselves as trying to change the world. We see ourselves as trying to change the capacity with which the world can change itself. You do that by providing people a different way of seeing things, a different way of understanding things, a different way of viewing something that they think they're familiar with and then it surprises them providing people a way that is grounded in science, that is reliable, that is credible, but what allows them to see possibility. When you look through the lens of those solutions, you see regeneration, you see rebirth, you see renaissance, that you see a safe place for human beings to inhabit, grow, learn, evolve. Addressing climate change is the only way we can create a better world for everyone, for everyone, not just someone's. Mm -hmm.